Arr, avast ye land lovers! Today we're reviewing Pirate's Gold. Let's check it out! Setup for the game is extremely easy. This box comes as is. You'll put all these little treasure chests in the areas where you see the little cross there. Uh, each person has a little ship that they'll put in one of the four corners here. Doesn't matter which one. They have two dice and a ah, sea monster right here in the middle here. And what they're going to do is they're going to just roll this one die, the die with all the numbers on it, and then they're going to move that many turns. So this one has two, so I'd go one, two. Now, if ever I'm over a spot with the treasure chest, I have a magnet at the bottom of this, and this magnet will pick it up, pick up that treasure chest, which is really cool. don't know if you can see that. But there are also areas in the board where if you move past it, you will lose that treasure chest. It'll move off, so you have to move in a certain direction to get back to your own spot here to pull your treasure chest and keep it over here in your land and then go out and get more. And you're going to keep going back and doing this as you're collecting treasure chests. What you're trying to get is 10 coins. Now, how would you know what coins are there? Well, you flip open this little uh, treasure chest here, and I don't know if you can see that's very tiny there, but it says it has two coins in there. So these can range one, two, three, or zero even. You don't know what they're gonna look like. So you're gonna keep going until you get 10, which will end the game. Now, if ever you rolled a one or a four, you get to move those spaces, but because of those little symbols, that means you get to roll this die as well. And this die can do multiple things. You can move other players three or four spaces. That's what I'm talking about when you wanted, let's say I had one. By the way, you can't have more than one treasure chest on you at any time. But let's say I'm traveling back with one treasure chest here, and someone says, nope, Matt, I'm going to move you this way. And they move me past that little reef, which blocked me and swept the treasure out from me underneath me and put it down there again. You could do that. Uh, that or you could just move them further away. Like they have a treasure Treasure chest, one, two, three, four. I want you even further away from your destination to get back home. Now, of course, you can't exit out of someone else's area. You can't do that. It has to be your own area is where you'd exit out. Um, but anyway, uh, the other things you can do, you can move the sea monster two or three spaces. When the sea monster moves onto a ship, that ship is moved back to its starting spot again. Uh, so they are the, the sea monster will basically devour the ship and you're basically sailing a new ship out to sea to get these treasure chests. Uh, the other one is the pirate symbol there. Whenever you have that, you get to take at random someone's treasure chest. If they have more than one, then you just get to pick one. You don't get to look at it because they're all closed. You can look at it afterwards, but then you randomly pick one. This is where those zero chests come in. You're hoping someone picks a zero chest, take them away from you, and that's not really a crime there. Anyway, like I said, the first player to get 10 coins wins the game. Final thoughts, what do I think about this vintage game? Well, <laughs> I gotta give a shout out to Tabletop Island. Uh, Bernardo showed me this game and I loved it. I mean, look, 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 magnets, magnets, magnets on the board. So much fun. The magnet picks up the treasure chest. My little nephews absolutely love this game when I show them what the deal was and it is a lot of fun to play. It's also fun when you don't know what type of treasure you're getting. All the treasure boxes look the same. Uh, there's more than one zero in there and when I had stuff stolen from me, they stole my zeros. It was great. Sometimes you're like, ooh, so you're always faking someone else, like, ooh, and you're kind of hiding that one under the other ones. But people are always watching, like, that must be a good treasure chest. So when they get to steal, they try to steal that one. And my nephews are very perceptive, and they saw me kind of pushing things over the side, ones I really liked. But they were all the zeros. And they took all my zeros. They look at me and go... Great feeling, man. Great feeling. Um, you can get 10 coins pretty quick. You never know when someone's last treasure chest is going to be the treasure chest to win it all. This game has an easy setup, easy takedown, and is super fun to play. Um, you can find it here and there for pretty cheap online. So yeah, if you think it's a game for you, then go for it. All right, folks, that's all the time I have for now. But until next time, game earn.